What is going on my brodies? It is Andrew Rapier here of b to at Production Publishing bringing you guys with a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mix your drums and your beat. Now, of course, this is not a full mixing and mastering tutorial. This is just going to be a good reference uh, video for you guys to check out whenever you feel like your drums aren't sounding how they should. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play what I got. Nothing is mixed and nothing is mastered. And uh, just got a basic little loop. Uh, I believe this loop is from one of the AT drum kits or uh, I think it's from the AT pop or not drum kits but one of the Midian loop kits but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and play what we got real quick so it's not bad it is for sure plain and it is pretty what I would call bland. There, there's only one, one loop, one melody, and then a couple of drum samples. And uh, it, currently, everything's going way over uh, zero dB. So it's not like if we look, and it's just sounding like a big block of sound. It's it doesn't sound good. Like we we, it's just. There's too much in our face, so what, we're, what I'm gonna go go ahead and do is tune. Let's bring our 808 over here. I just held down Alt and then just use the left arrow key. Uh, I'm gonna pull down the sample, just a loop, about a, right to that marker right there, and then I'm gonna pull down my 808, about the same. <laughs> So, uh, I like to have my 808s. I usually always have my drums over my melody or my instruments. So, it's working out so far. Uh, the hi-hats are a little too loud, so we're going to pull those down. down that open hat just a little bit I'm using my uh, scroll wheel so I'm selecting it using my scroll wheel to scroll down so um, what I like to do is add an EQ to the sample because I have a gross beat and so it, it's going down a little bit lower frequency range because it's a uh, lower tone has more bass to it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a high pass filter high pass because we're cutting that out that low end a little bit gain so just a little bit something now this 808 needs to be uh, tweaked up a little bit so pulling up another EQ but for the 808 now and uh, I'm gonna pull down So I like that. It, I added a little bit boost in that sub bass area. So I'm going to pull it down a little bit. And I actually like to have my kick over my 808. So I'm going to pull down that kick, pull down that 808, pull down that a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a uh, EQ on my uh, kick. So uh, sometimes I like to get a little bit of a uh, upper texture or um, in my kick because that's where we're gonna hear the thud. Whereas when we get uh, in that lower sub range, I like around the 60 to 70 hertz range, you get more of the heartbeat. You get the uh, the actual sub of the kick. So we're gonna pull that down a little bit. Now there's a lot of different things you can do to get this kick to sound really nice. Uh, if you wanted more upper harmonic texture, you can add a distort a distortion to it. But I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do that this time around. 
what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab a Maximus. Uh, and I'm going to put it a little bit after the EQ because I actually want to put something but between it. Oh, where's the Maximus? Maximus. There it is. So right up here, before the Maximus and after the EQ, I'm going to grab a Sound Goodizer. And now you guys are probably, there's always the jokes that using Sound Goodizer is not good, which I agree. But when you shoot it all the way up, and you use it for the kick, listen to this. <laughs> It has a nice little thud to it. So I'm going to pull up that 808 so, so the 808's sitting a little bit below that kick. But we have a much better mix. We're only five minutes in too, so think about that. So we're getting kind of like close to that dangerous uh, zero. So I'm going to just pull everything down a little bit because I do like the mix of everything. So the easiest way... Uh, Keeping all the levels is if you just pull everything down. So, we got a pretty good uh, kick going. And I like the uh, sample. We could do a whole bunch of stuff to the sample. Add reverb, add delay, and all that other jazz. But we're not going to do that for now. Uh, I can add a compressor to the 808. But I like the 808 as is. But I might make the 808 mono. So, pull it in like a negative stereo separation down here. Um, if you guys don't see that, sometimes, where do you change the settings? There's a way, sometimes it doesn't show you the settings or the view. Oh yeah, compact, compact 2, wide. Yeah, so if you have, okay, so wide, it's right there. I don't like that. I like compact. So, mono, you... I, I only do the mono on the bass because that's going to be, it's going to be coming out through one signal, coming right up in your face. Uh, some people have it stereo, doesn't matter. It's uh, how, how are you like to mix your stuff, but the song is staying in stereo and you don't even need to do the stereo separation. So just tossing it out there for you guys. Just give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of a gain boost for this open hat but not a whole lot but we're going to cut the low uh i would say be careful you don't want to cut too much texture out but it doesn't matter we don't really have anything going on so we can just now i do like to pull down this uh symbol crash down a little bit i like to have a symbol crash just to kind of remind the person that I'm, I won't, like, every four or eight bars just to let them know that it's that new bar. But it's however you want to produce. So. So this snare, it's kind of like a bounce snare, how I like to say. It's just there on that offbeat, sort of, just to add a little bit more bounce to it. Let's try to get that uh, bounce snare coming up a little bit, but I still want it behind that main snare. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to do a compressor. Push up the gain. All right, so now with our main snare, I'm going to do this. Get a little bit more upper harmonics. I want to cut a little bit of that bass that we got in that uh, snare sample. And all these drum samples are from the Vita AT uh, Drum Kit 3 over at VitaAT.com. I might go ahead and put uh beat at's uh website's always down below but um if you guys want to copy the drum kit i might go ahead and put the link there always check the description we always got some goodies there so 
was a little bit it's not as hollow uh, or it's a little bit more hollow now the last one had a little bit more uh oomph to it uh but with when we cut that base we don't get so much oomph in there uh you guys probably really appreciate my uh, lack of descriptive words but uh so what i like to do with maximus sometimes with my snare is i go down to the clear master and i just kind of I, I don't normally uh i used to rely on presets a lot but nowadays not so much but i, I think the clear master depending on the snare sample that you're using for this snare sample it might be good but it's going to just kind of make the harmonics and uh, frequencies come out a little bit more give it a little bit of a brightness to it as well as compress it and uh pump pump it up a little bit and the uh, master so let's let's just hear what it sounds like so that's way loud i just want to tune it down a little bit now some people say well you could just turn up the volume yeah but this also does uh more than just turning up the volume okay we're doing different compression on the low, mid, high bands over here. So I like to have my kick and snare pretty close to each other. The snare is probably a little bit lower. Just a little bit. Um, so I like to do that, and then the kick is just the overall heartbeat. So yeah, uh, this should be a pretty good uh, w start for getting you guys to get your drums to sound pretty crisp and clean. It's really just in the EQ, uh, in controlling your fader, EQing, and then some compression. That's really it. So hopefully this was beneficial for you guys. Hopefully you guys learned something. This is Andrew of Beta AT Production Publishing. If you guys want to learn more, you can always uh, subscribe and check out our website. We put goodies there for you guys to make beats as well. So yeah, I will see you guys later. This is Andrew and adios.